Many of you have probably heard the term meaningful use. The expression meaningful use refers to implementing certified electronic health records and using them in such a way that they meet the criteria for the EHR incentive program for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. Meaningful use is currently one of the biggest drivers of electronic health record adoption. But what are the implications of meaningful use for the practice of medicine and the delivery of health care? Yeah, I think meaningful use has brought the whole importance of information management and technology up to the highest levels. However, I do think that the role of the CIO and of information technology is not to be the driver of change, but to be a strong member. Uh, when it comes down to it, it's about process and it's about how you're delivering care. I would say the leader for meaningful use um, is still on the technical side, um, although some of the quality folks um, have started to jump on board from the sites, um, really looking at um, the positives around what we what we can achieve in terms of collecting quality. The you know the conversation about exchanging data with others, we've been pushing this for ages. So, um, but it is a big deal for us, and the push is actually coming from our physicians. Meaningful use really tries to make that connection between the technology and the outcomes. It's really working backwards from what are the uses of the technology that have been shown to make care safer to make shown to help people live longer, right? That's the goal, right, isn't it? To help care be more coordinated, to have patients and their families feel more engaged uh, in their care, and to help provide benefits to public health as well as individual care. But it's gonna mean real changes in how care is delivered. So that's the first change, is how care is delivered in the context of an office visit. When are the questions asked on that clipboard so we don't keep asking those questions over and over again? The demographic information or the vital key information around billing being collected in the right place in the right time. Smoking status and blood pressure being asked in the, by, by the medical assistant when they're rooming the person, measuring the blood pressure. The medication re being reviewed, the problem list being reviewed, the, the exam being documented, and then the discussion with the patient with the after visit summary as they leave. All of those are parts of meaningful use and they can all be done so that all the work doesn't fall on the physician at the end of, you know, during the visit. We got to distribute that work and make sure that process works as efficiently and as completely as possible. Meaningful use can be a game changer ultimately to the clinicians and to the patients because the, the end goal in making these changes and enforcing these regulations is to make healthcare safer and more efficient and better in the, and in the end for the patient. If I had to give advice to a practice manager or a physician looking at an, implementing an EHR system in their practice, I would certainly advise them first to, to check with the recent Health Care Act and the federal standards that are required, making sure that the, uh, that the product meets the, the meaningful use, electronic prescription, all those measures that are really being looked at closely in terms of uh, determining whether EHR truly is meaningful to, to practices. You know, I think most people that head into this think they're involved just for the project and once we flip the switch, they can all go back to their, their normal lives. And, and a lot of them can because when leading up to implementation, you need more hands on deck than you, than you do for the maintenance phase. But uh, I think they quickly learn that this is an ongoing process, we'll, we'll never be finished. Uh, we might have the big piece finished, but we'll always be fine tuning, looking at new feature functionality as it comes out adapting to uh, new rules. I think as we go forward with uh, meaningful use and, and IT implementation, there will certainly be an opportunity for patients to, to play a more active role, not only in, in doing what's best for them, but also in keeping their records up. Introducing the EHR that is a byproduct will be the meeting meaningful use. But introducing that technology, we've had physicians who were reluctant to embrace the technology but the day they went live, it's been very interesting that those physicians who were the most reluctant have been the ones most engaged in trying to figure out how it was going to work for them. And that engagement prepared them for that day one. So they knew how to get in the system, they knew how to navigate, they knew how to find what they needed to find, and they knew what their patients would appreciate. For instance, so many of the patients were just 
blown away by the fact that by the time they finished the physician visit, they got a message on their iPhone that the prescription had been received by the pharmacist. But the second major change for meaningful use has nothing to do with the 0.001% of the person's life when they're actually in the doctor's office. It has to do with what happens when the person leaves the office. And this is the big revolution, I think, in how care can be delivered differently with electronic health records. There's an evolutionary aspect of the office visit and making that better, having decision support so you remember things and so forth. But the revolutionary part of electronic health records and meaningful use is where you can do what's called population health management, which means that you don't forget about the patient when they leave the office. That you can take all of the patients in your practice and ask a simple question. Who hasn't come in to see me? Who had high blood pressure and didn't fill their prescription? Or who are all the people who are on this medication that just got recalled? Or medical evidence changes in every day, the medical evidence changes. Based on the new evidence that I have, should I reach out to my patients, send those who are on a particular medication or a certain protocol a message and say, come back in, we need to change your therapy. It's that thinking about the denominator of all my patients, which is something you cannot do with a room full of paper charts. You cannot walk into a room full of paper charts and say, well, everyone who has diabetes pop out, right? Now, well, only those who have a, you know, an A1C that's too high, now you segregate yourselves here, and then all those people who are not on insulin, now you come up on a stack on my desk, right? And let's create a mailing label for all of you, right? You can't do that with paper, with an electronic health record, with meaningful use of an electronic health record. It's trivial. We might be a little unusual as an organization when it comes to meaningful use. Um, I work very closely with the physicians in our organization. We have about 6,000 of them, so it's a large physician organization. So I would say yes, the move to electronic health records, whether, whether it's stimulated by meaningful use or stimulated by some other initiative, um, it is a game changer. I remember being at a board meeting, and our board is uh, physicians from across the network. And one of the physicians from um, a community practice uh, just sort of spontaneously gave a little speech about how he is a better doctor today because he has an electronic health record. And because we pushed him to get an electronic health record, he was thankful. And it was one of those um, moments that you know I will always remember because it meant like, we, get, we really helped him transform his practice in a way that was meaningful to him and also to his patients. You know, if he's a better doctor, he's, his patients are seeing the results of that. It's huge. As you have heard, meaningful use promises to be a game changer that will impact both care delivery as well as the patient. Meeting the goals will require changes in many of the processes of care. We will see a healthcare delivery process that is not only high quality, but also safer and more efficient. The efficiency comes not just from having the needed information in the EHR, but from distributing the workload among the whole healthcare team, so each member of the team contributes to the whole process. The process of care will be more efficient for the patient. No longer will the patient have to provide the same information over and over again. Prescriptions will be transferred electronically directly to the pharmacy. Now the physician will have the ability to monitor their patient's health in between office visits. Finally, it will mean that patients can take a more active role in their health care. So, in conclusion, while the financial incentives may have inspired adoption of EHRs, meaningful use will truly be a game changer for health care, for health care providers, and especially for patients.